George Pickens has the talent to come down with the ball in single, double, or even triple coverage, but is also a menace out there on the field and not always in a positive way for the Steelers. This Sunday night against the Cowboys, it looked as if he wasn't even trying. There were multiple occasions when Pickens would just jog a route or look sloppy as if he knew he wasn't even an option for the QB. Despite Pickens being lazy, it was also noticed that his snap percentage throughout the game was extremely low at just 59%, the lowest it's been in fact since he came into the NFL. Obviously something was off between head coach Mike Tomlin and Pickens, and Tomlin addressed it after the game, stating he wanted more efficiency and to maximize the opportunity from Pickens, and well, based on the looks he gave, Tomlin is not going to be happy with the film. The just overall frustration boiled over on one of the final plays of the game when Pickens was seen grabbing Cowboys corner Jordan Lewis by the face mask, by the way, and throwing him on the ground. Lewis, who was walking back to the locker room, later looked at cameras and told the media that the Steelers need a new wide receiver because Pickens is weak. And now I don't know if that's true, but one thing for sure is that Pickens is starting to become a distraction for the Steelers and he's just not producing enough to warrant this diva behavior. Pickens also wore black eye tape with the saying open effing always and I find this absolutely hilarious but the fact that he had three receptions for 26 yards doesn't really justify that writing. This guy is a menace and I have a feeling we may have more videos out about George before this season is over. Now I actually love the guy and some of his antics are pretty funny coming from a non-Steelers fan but he needs to put some hustle in and control his temper if he wants to live up to his potential and stay in the league. Will Pickens be on the chopping block here and ship to another team, or is his upside too legit to let go? Let us know your thoughts on all his shenanigans and more down below. And just a reminder, if you like our football coverage, we also do basketball and hockey, maybe more in the future. If you don't want to subscribe to a bunch of YouTube channels, you can check out our Facebook page, which we're uploading with multiple new videos a day.